I also want to say a very big thank you to my family, especially my mom. <laughs> she didn't want me to be here. And then to all of you here, every single person here, this is not victory for myself or the other elected members of the board. It is victory for Ghana sports and all of you. And I think that together we need to work hard. What you have, the message you have sent to us and to everybody here is so resounding, so overwhelming, and the kind of trust that you have proposed in us, I want to promise you that we are going to work hard and make sure that for the next four years, GOC and Ghana Sports will take this rightful position in the annals of African Sports. To the immediate past board, and all those who serve on the board with me, I want to say a very big thank you. Challenging as it was, we managed to sail through and we are here today. We need to move forward. Colleagues and new board members, we have lost and wasted a lot of time in our preparation for Tokyo. There's a lot of work. We need to hit the ground running. Right after this program, I want to call for our first board meeting because there's so much that we need to do, especially to do with Tokyo 2020, where we've already wasted so much time on our elections and all the, you know, the machinations that come with it. And I think that we need to hit the ground running. Let me finally, and definitely not let me say a very big thank you to the Honorable Minister for Youth and Sports for being here and sharing a few words of wisdom with us. I want to assure him and His Excellency, the President. I want to assure, I want to assure him and His Excellency, the President, that all of us here are committed to working and making sure that Ghana Sports takes its rightful place in Africa. It's not going to be easy, as you all know, but with the kind of commitment and the kind of dedicated elected members that I have, especially a team with a unity of purpose, people with very strong and diverse background, people who can't wait to get Ghana Sports where it needs, there is no way we should fail. So colleagues, on behalf of all of you, the new board, I want to thank Congress. So on behalf of all of you, I want to thank members of Congress for putting us in a position that is not going to be challenging, but it's an enormous start. We will not fail you and we'll make sure that the confidence that you have proposed in us will work hard and make sure Ghana's course is lifted we are. Thank you very much.